What's well, that time of the year where we're getting a lot of thunderstorms? If it's not your garden variety severe thunderstorm, it could be a supercell. Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees explains what they are and what to look out for in today's Weather IQ. We've talked about what makes a storm severe. We've talked about QLCSs. But today we're going to talk about supercells. A supercell is the least common type of thunderstorm, but it has a high risk of producing severe weather. This includes very large hail, damaging winds, and even violent tornadoes. Supercells are often accompanied by a wall cloud, where meteorologists look for funnel clouds to form. What makes it unique is the structure. It contains a deep rotating updraft called a mesocyclone. A mesocyclone forms when a thunderstorm updraft meets veering winds, which means the winds are turning clockwise with height. As the air rises into the storm, the winds begin to twist the updraft until the whole column of air is spinning. A rotating storm is the worst case scenario. With a supercell, you're guaranteed to see hail and strong winds, and there's about a 30% chance of tornadoes. These storms can last for hours by creating a self-sustaining circulation, allowing them to survive cut off from the main line. Supercells are responsible for strong, long track tornadoes. Now in the Carolinas, supercells cells are most common during spring and fall. This is due to warm surface temperatures, higher humidity, favorable wind profiles, and ample lift. So during severe weather, when the WCNC weather team is talking about supercells, you know it's serious. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees. Nice job on that. Very Great interesting. Right there. Thanks, you're pretty, Larry. You're really smart. <laughs> I have that. I was like, wow. Sometimes those weather <laughs> IQs are hard for us to follow, yeah. but they but keep helpful. us informed. Very helpful. Very they helpful. They keep us informed. They're trying to raise your yeah. weather IQ. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's working. <laughs> I think it's working. It would sort of Slowly the science, the science behind all of it's actually really Explained interesting. Very well. But thank you. Uh, no